name is Jessica Hanain. I live in Santa Monica, California, and I own a Pilates studio. It's called Pilates Smith. And unfortunately, our studio is closed right now to keep everyone safe. So I hope you're staying home, but I hope you're also staying active. I know if you're at home, you might not have equipment available to you. So I've been trying to think of a workout that I could create using something you have at home. And I have this idea today that I might be able to create a full body workout using a pair of socks. So go grab your favorite pair of socks. I brought my heart ones out because I feel like that was appropriate for right now. And uh, come back and meet me and we'll start our workout. The first thing I'm gonna do that I like to do before any of my workouts is get warmed up. So before I put these on, I'm just gonna do some big movements to get the blood moving through my body. So jumping jacks or squats. I'm just gonna start with 10 squats, or just until the point where I feel like I feel my heart rate getting up a little bit. I feel my body start to get warm. I'm gonna start counting, so let's see, let's call this like six probably, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna hold it down a little bit, just transfer the weight back into my heels to really get my glutes activated. My core is still pulling in. Imagine I'm wearing a corset around my body, keeping that weight back so I feel the burn in my glutes versus my quads. And I'm just gonna add a little pulse up and down to really seal the deal on those glutes. Five, four, three, two, Next muscle group that we move to is the back of our body, our posterior chain. And we warm up our glutes and our hamstrings a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. And I think this is probably the first place where I might be able to use these socks. So I'm gonna fold my mat in half so that my feet can be on the hardwood floor. I put my fun heart socks on. And I'm just gonna do some bridge work and I'm just gonna improvise as we go. So laying down. You don't need the mat, I just have it here for comfort. But you wanna bring your heels so they feel like they're underneath your knees. And make sure that you're just relaxed, so your chest is expanded, you're pulling your shoulders down, away from your ears and pressing down to the floor. So from here, I'm just gonna tuck my tailbone under as I articulate up through my spine and hold at the top. So the first place here where I might be able to start to feel those hamstrings is by doing a hamstring curl. So I think if I lift my toe up and slide my heel out, yep, and then pull that in, I can get those hamstrings going. My glutes are working, squeezing them in, and I'm keeping my core pulled in. So even though it's just my leg that's moving, I'm really feeling this all down the back of my leg, but up into my glutes and into my core as well. Let's do one more set. Last one. And then I'm just gonna roll down through my spine. Next thing I'm gonna do is just try crossing my leg over like I'm sitting in a chair, ankle right beneath my knee. And then with that sock on, my glutes and my hamstrings are having to work a little bit harder to keep that foot from sliding out. So from here, if I just drop my butt down and lift up and squeeze those glutes at the top, I'm pressing, as you can see, on my left heel, my toe is lifted. So I'm really activating that hamstring and glute. Let's do one more here. And I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna go to the other side. So taking left, crossing it over. So taking up, holding the top, squeezing into that right glute, making sure that my hips stay level with each other. Just tapping down and up. Let's do five of these. So this is four, three, two, last one. Nice job. All right, so I really got into my hamstrings there. My glutes are feeling like they're warmed up. The next body group we move into at Pilates Smith is our core to get that warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll my mat back out. So I can lay all the way out. And just do a set of hundreds. So this is a classic Pilates move, hands up above the shoulders, your knees bent in, wherever is comfortable for you. On your exhale, curl up, lower your arms down by your sides. And think about scooping into your core, still drawing those ribs towards each other. And if it feels okay for you, bring your legs up in a tabletop. If not, you can keep your feet down. And if you can, you're gonna extend one leg out at a time. The progression from here, full progression, would be both legs out. So if you can hold this position, you're gonna start pumping those arms. Inhale, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two. Exhale, two, three, four, five, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, five. 
Exhale two, three, four, five, six. Exhale two, three, four, five, seven. Exhale two, three, four, five, eight. Exhale two, three, four, five, nine. Exhale two, three, four, five, and ten. And exhale two, three, four, five. Nice job. So I'm just gonna hug my knees into my chest. So there, you just wanna make sure that you're keeping your low back down when your legs are extended. If your back, lower back starts to pop up and you start to feel that in your low back, I just want you to lift your legs up higher to the ceiling. Legs low doesn't mean you're necessarily getting a better workout. It might actually mean that you're using the wrong muscle. We wanna make sure that stays in your abs. So <laughs> next exercise I wanted to try was to see if I could do some lunges to get into my lower body. So now that I'm warmed up, I'm gonna start working into that lower body. So with my wall here, I'm just gonna hold on lightly, take my right foot back, and just slide that leg out. I'm gonna bring my hands to my hips, I guess, and then stand all the way back up. So heel is what's working. And as I'm driving up, my toes lifted, so I'm in that heel. And again, I wanna just stay in that heel, so I'm connecting up into my glute. If I go into my toe, I feel it more in my quad. So let's do 10 of these. Let's call it seven, eight, nine. We do these on our farm at the studio. So this sock is really helping me. It feels really similar to that movement. I'm gonna switch to the other side. So left foot back, chest tall, core still pulled in. I'm still imagining that I'm wearing that corset. And again, I'm keeping the weight in my heel so this stays in the back of my leg, in my glute, and out of my quad. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now another one that we do on the reformer that I wanna try now that that was successful is doing some side lunges. So this will work more of the glute medius and the inner thighs versus the glute max, which is what we were just working that big glute muscle. So same idea here. I'm gonna keep one leg extended out, my toe, my knee, and my hip are not rolled back. Everything's pointing forward, like I had two flashlights pointing at the wall. And from here, I'm gonna set my weight back first, keeping all the weight in that heel. Again, so I stay in this glute, so working into that outer glute, a little bit of inner thigh on that straight leg. What I don't want to happen is for the leg to pull me out because then I'm not getting any work on that glute. So make sure you keep your weight over and if it helps, even put yourself all the way up to the wall, slide straight down the wall and go right back up. If that's what helps you keep your weight to that side. As you can tell probably, I'm out of breath. These body weight exercises, I forgot how challenging they actually are. Most of the work I do, most of the workouts I do, or on a reformer. My heart rate is really high, or I just might be talking too much. <laughs> Let's do two more. Last one. And here I'm gonna hold it. So again, in our Pilates class, I'm gonna slide my knee in and out. And there's not really a lot of work going on on this side. If I want to, I can use that inner thigh and engage it so I feel a little squeeze there. But where I feel most of the work happening is in that supporting leg. All my weight is back in that heel. Again, I know I've said it over and over, so that the weight stays back and you're in your glute versus your quad. Last one, those come all the way in. Other side. So starting with the foot out, hips pointing forward, chest lifted, I'm gonna go straight down, keeping that weight on my left side. And again, I'm first thinking about my weight going back versus going out and letting that leg drag me out over that leg. We've got five and four. Hands can be really wherever feels good for you. It's not gonna change the exercise. For me right now, it seems to be my hips. Two, last one, hold it down. And then again, you're just gonna drag in. If you engage that inner thigh, you'll feel a little bit, but you want most of the work happening on that supporting leg. We got seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one. All right, so now I'm really feeling like I've successfully worked out my lower body. I'm gonna now move to my upper body. So without weight resistance, one of the best things you can do is do some 
push-ups for your chest, elbows into your body, we'll work your triceps more, elbows out the side, is gonna work your biceps more. So from here, I'm gonna get my mat out. Even though I feel like I'm pretty strong, my push-ups are really bad. And so I like to do push-ups on my knees. So if you're with me, feel free to come down to your knees. If you're able to extend those legs all the way back into a push-up position, go for it. So, triceps. I'm gonna tuck my toes under, or you can just leave them natural, whatever feels good for you. But again, make sure you're still wearing that corset, pulling that belly button up into your spine. I'm gonna start with triceps, so elbows in. So I'm gonna lower down, slow, press up slow. So it's not about cranking these out, like you might see some people doing in the gym. The slower you move, the more challenging it is, because you're allowing yourself the opportunity to find the muscle that you want to work and use it. And that's one of the reasons Pilates will really get into muscles that you don't work or you feel like you've never worked before. Two more. These are so hard for me. And last one. All right, awesome. So notice what I'm gonna do, elbows out the side, fingers in, and this is just gonna work my biceps a little bit better. So lowering down, see if you can touch your chest down. And notice how I'm trying to keep my neck neutral, so no wrinkles in the front or the back. And just trying to keep that neck in line with the rest of my spine, because those cervical vertebra are part of that spine, and you wanna keep everything nice and straight through the crown of your head, through your tailbone. Two, last one. Oh, that was hard, all right? I'm gonna reach back into a child pose now and just press into my arms and press my chest through my arms so I get a nice stretch through the front of the chest, which is really burning after that push-up work. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do before stretching is I'm gonna use my socks again in a creative way. And I feel like if I put them on my hands, that I might be able to do some cool core stuff. So socks onto my hands. So I'm gonna go to a full push-up position here. And now here, there's really a lot of stuff you can do. So with my hands slippery already, just holding plank is a little bit harder than it would be if there were no socks on my hands. So I can do some step outs with my feet, stepping out and in, so you can play with that. Let's do one more of those. I'm just stepping right, left, right, left. If you want to turn up the cardio a little bit, you can turn those into jumps. I call these play jacks. So holding here, you can also come into your hovering knees and just hold here. And pulsing up for five, four, three, two, one. So like I said, just with the socks on my hands, that makes all that a lot harder than it would be if I didn't have the socks. Now I'm gonna see what happens if I start to move my hands around. So holding planks, I can do circles. Oof. So the goal here is to not move your hips. Try not to shift the weight back and forth. That's really challenging. Let's reverse those circles. Coming in towards each other now. One more, last set. Oof. And coming down. Another one that you might want to try is maybe like drawing out the alphabet with your hands. So for like on our hands, let's do letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You get the idea. But you can go through the whole alphabet or see how far you can go. Again, the entire time you're just trying to work to keep your hips nice and still and to make sure you're pressing up into your upper body, upper back, that you're pulling that core in. I'm not out of breath, but honestly, like, my glutes, my lower body are feeling like they were worked. My hamstrings feel really worked. My upper body feels worked, especially right across the front of my chest. So next one I'm gonna do that's also really important to your workout is making sure you warm down. You worked all of your muscles to be very warm, and so now is the best time to just do a few stretches so that you can capitalize on the warmth of your muscles and work on your flexibility. Also, getting your heart rate back down and easing it back down, I find helps me feel better after my workouts. So I'm just gonna take some time to breathe and do some stretches. So here I'm just gonna reach my arms out in front of me and I'm gonna slowly just roll down through my spine. Inhale, 
exhale. As I press one vertebra down, try to keep your heels down as you roll down. And then just reach back up to the ceiling. From here, if you can keep both legs extended on the mat, great. If you need to bend them in, then go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna extend my right leg up to the ceiling and just grab behind that thigh, or excuse me, behind that calf, and just give that a gentle tug. Like I said, if you can extend that bottom leg out to get a deeper stretch on that side, then go for it. And here, I really wanna focus on getting my heart rate down, so I'm just gonna breathe deeply. So in through my nose, out through my mouth, a couple more. And on this next exhale, I'm just gonna to try to relax that hamstring. See if I can pull that any more closer to my body. Good, and now figure four stretch. And really like, whatever stretches you wanna do, is totally fine. It's just about taking some time to stretch. Like I said, taking advantage of your muscles being warm. Focusing on your breathing. Just slowly get your heart rate down. So here I'm pulling behind the thigh on the leg that's not crossed. And I'm pressing my tailbone down to the mat away from my body just to make that a more intense stretch. I'm more flexible here, so if you can't get to the position that I'm getting, that's totally fine. Another great way to feel this is to just drop that leg down. You might feel a good stretch right here. We go to the other side. So again, option one, stay here. Option two, lift that base leg up. Grab behind that thigh and press your tailbone down to the mat away from you. And big deep breaths. So you can start to hear me talking a little bit more easily. My heart rate's slowly coming back down. And those breaths are really feeling good, getting oxygen back into my brain. So I feel more euphoric. I'm feeling the benefit of that workout. Good. So the last one I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna go for a toe stretch. So reaching up, standing up, pulling up out of my hips, out of my ribs, reaching up through my fingertips. I'm gonna try to grow a little bit taller and lengthen, continue to grow and reach out of my fingertips as I reach towards my toes. And when I feel like I can't go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and round over, drop my chin down into my chest, and just stretch out those hamstrings. Three big deep breaths here. Two. Last one. All right, that's it. Feeling like my heart rate's back down. I'm feeling good. Feeling the benefit in my upper and lower body and definitely my core. I hope you enjoyed working out with socks. If you find any other exercises that you like doing with socks, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment. We'd love to hear from you. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll See you soon, as soon as we're back open. Bye.